Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to make a video about the take recorder and there's something about it that's very important to know and I should have probably mentioned this in one of my previous tutorials, but I honestly think that the take recorder is misnamed and should be called the scene recorder and not the take recorder. And I say that because when you call it the take recorder, you kind of tie it to the camera and think that you're recording a take in the camera but really what you're recording is the entire scene and what you can do is actually go back and put another camera into that same scene and record it from a completely different perspective. So I'm going to illustrate that point to you right now. So I'm just in a third person template right here. I'm going to knock out this wall right here. Then I'm going to select this floor right here. I'm going to hit the space bar and we're just going to stretch it out here so that my player character has some room to run. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Window, Cinematics, and go to the Take Recorder. Right, so it's ready to go. And I've done tutorials about this in the past. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Play. I'm going to be in the scene. I'm going to come here to Source, and I'm going to select my player. And then I'm just going to go Record. Three, two, one, and you can say Action. And here I go. I'm just going to go running this direction. So what's happening now is my player character camera is recording this character and I am getting this scene from the perspective of this camera, but I'm also recording this scene in general and this animation in general. So what that means is I can, if I go stop and hit escape, actually, it's rendered out that scene. I was always confused in the beginning too, thinking that I was just recording solely the camera's perspective. What I was really recording was the entire scene and selected animations in that scene. So now if I close out of the sequencer here and I go into the cinematics folder here, go into takes, and this is where it can get really confusing, I can go into the sequencer. If I hit play, you can't see anything, but I gotta go into camera cuts you'll see it's recording back the scene. So you think that we've recorded out this take, but really what it is, what we've really recorded is the scene. And I'm not locked to this camera. So what that means is I can come back. If I go back to the beginning, you need to close out of the sequencer sometimes to do this. And I let's say I reposition myself over here on this far end here, right? And let me go get to the windows, go to place actors and let me get a cine camera and drag it onto the scene here. So we recorded a take, a scene in a sense. I'm going to drag this camera onto the scene here. We can see what it sees down there in that window. I'm just going to turn it and look down field this way, right? What I can do then is now come into this scene that we recorded. It should be called a scene. I'm going to unlock it. Now I can come up here and go add, add the sequencer, that new camera right here. Then what I can do is I can come here and you'll see I've got that new camera and I have my BP character camera essentially here. I can come up here and go create new binding and I'm going to bind it to my Cine Camera Actor and notice it changes down here. Now if I hit play, we're going to have a recording of the scene from this new camera's perspective. So that's why I say it's, rec it's misleading to call it a take recorder. We can come in and refilm that entire scene all over without having to redo it, just bring in new cameras and place them in new places. So that's something very important to understand about the take recorder. It's not just recording the camera's perspective, it's recording the entire scene. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.